I got a lot of guff from you DJI fanboys when I said the Osmo action wasn't even going to be as good as my little Sony X3000. Y'all said I was crazy. Well, you might have been right. You might have been right on that one. Time to eat my words. Oh, I'm going to eat them hard. I'm going to put ketchup on it. So today we compare these two a little bit and talk about why this is so much worse than the GoPro 8, but so much better in some ways. Oh man. So the pros and cons of all three will be discussed today and I will crown a champion and a parade will be held for the winner. And yes, my DJI is in a glow. That's how we do things here. How y'all do? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So the reason I said that DJI wasn't going to be even as good as the Sony X3000 was that it was cropped in a bit more, so I thought, so is it actually? What's wider? We're on wide as it gets on the Sony. Thing is on D-Warp on the Osmo. Why are we wider? Hey, hey you over there. How you doing? Versus hey you over there. How you doing? What handles the backlit better? That was the biggest complaint about Sony, but I see the same problems in the DJI. The same ass problems. It might be a little better, but not by much. So if you're this way, you're garbage, and then we're good. My Sony refuses to focus on anything that isn't in Thailand, so until I return, he just doesn't listen to me anymore. Whereas the DJI, you listen. You get it, even though you're over contrasty, sharpness, saturation, town, bitch, licking. The biggest complaint I had about the future Osmo Action that I hadn't even tested yet was the audio. So you're listening to the Osmo Action audio right now, and we're going to switch it over to the Sony audio. And in my opinion, the Sony is still superior. It's a 2012 machine. Maybe 2014. Don't quote me on any of that accuracy shit. But the audio is way better, unfortunately. Neither are good enough in situations like big ass truck land over here. But does the Sony have the ultimate solution up its sleeve? So now we got audio on the Sony. I got a lav mic plugged into it. You can see it here on the DJI. The problem is you can't adjust the volume. So even if you whisper to your grandmother, it's gonna clip. It's gonna clip the audio. I used to actually have this down near my waist And that was the only way we could handle it But this should have been the ultimate solution right here I could have stuck this on a selfie stick way out there. I got a cord. It's a little awkward It's not something a zebra would do, but I get away with it See the Sun see how dark I am now GoPro would never do that to me DJI you do it. You do it to me. You do it right to me, don't you? Yeah. Darkness. How many demons do I have to battle each day? Now one more thing. I thought the stabilization would be better on the Sony. Let me know. I feel it's more natural because when shit happens, I wiggle. When this action cam wiggles, I wiggle with it. Whereas the Sony, the background wiggles more. It's strange. It's different. Is my shoe untied? Why? How's this audio, by the way? It's fantastic. Is it clipping? Can you notice? It's like, oh, what's that sound? Why is it doing that? For good reasons. I'll tell you that much. Great reasons. The DJI has an audio jack that you plug into the side, but I don't trust that thing. I don't trust a lav mic hanging off it. That little adapter that Marcus Picks and my other buddy sent me. I got two versions now. Thank you both, gentlemen. That thing weighs like 16 grams. Yeah. Let that sink in. That's heavy. The Rode Video Micro is like 40 grams. That little adapter plus the lav mic hanging, we're good 22 grams now. It's gonna pull it out. I've pulled out. I'm good at it. What? <laughs> Thank you.
So in order to shoot that slow motion sequence on the Sony, there was 16 button presses. Hey little buddies. Here buddy. Oh, tell your friend, I have more. So that brings me to the usability factor and why I love the DJI Osmo Action so much more than the GoPro for this reason. The GoPro, you can switch things, but you need to tap the screen. Right now, these gloves don't work. I need special gloves in the winter? That's a hindrance. What's that? Y'all know I'm taking that. Y'all know that, right? Y'all know I just found the shelving unit of the gods. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Life is good, my friend. We'll be back for that. Oh, don't you worry. So if I'm filming on the GoPro in 4K, I have to tap on a thing, tap again to select slow motion and wait for it to enhance, enable, and then we're good. It's just, it's not, I know, first world problems here. I don't have to carry a bucket of water down a mountain dodging cheetahs and shit. It's a button press, I get it. It's still, on this, one button press, boom. Slow-mo, I have my custom settings. And then the hyperlapse is just another button press. So I have my 4K, my slow-mo, and my hyperlapse all in the DJI, and it's one button press. No tappies, no touchies. In the GoPro, it's a little different. I gotta touch a button just to get into the hyperlapse mode. And then it stays there, because it remembers. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> So it's not terrible, but it's just, it's more presses. And that's worse. I switched back to the Sony so hard. How did that feel? <laughs> just to make a point, usability wise, on the tripod mount, Sony just has one built in. I can use any selfie stick, any tripod. GoPro has it built in the body, which is, I just need an adapter or get a special GoPro adapter like selfie stick. But the DJI needs a case. What the hell is that? I'm using the lav mic, at least it's somewhat windproof. No, stop it, I can see the feathers rustling. No, stop that. I put the DJI in its case. It picks up every handling noise. You can't even hold it still. I was watching a video, he's like, some guy was reviewing it, and he's like, oh, it's not too bad if you just, if you don't move around a lot, you don't, the whole thing was rattling noise. It picks it up bad. I also hate that both DJI and GoPro have two mics. One on the side and the front. GoPro's front and side, DJI's top and side. What the hell's that for? Do you vlog like under here? I am on top of you, I'm riding a horse. Shut your horse, vlog ass up. I don't care about your horse vlogs. It's really windy. Is it handling it? Oh, stormy winter night. The battery door is also easier to open on the Osmo than the GoPro, but that's where the Osmo's advantages end. It's just those couple button presses with ease. That's it. One thing I will say about this DJI, I love that front face and screen, I also hate it. I hate that it distracts me sometimes, but I like that I can frame myself, I know. Rule of thirds, we're good to go. I kind of miss that on the GoPro, I'm flying blind again. With the Sony, it was so wide. It's a little wider than the GoPro, so it almost didn't matter. I kind of knew, and you kind of will get used to it anyway, but uh, I kind of miss that. The Sony is a little wider, and that's what makes these so fun. It's not quite as good, but it is much nicer to have it. I'd rather have it than not have it. As you can see, the sun is that way. It's not even, we're not even really at it. Look how dark I am. Like, I edited that whole video, GoPro versus this. Go watch it. Over there. I was so dark on the DJI. The dynamic range technology is just not there. And I do hate that I look at that screen a lot. I, I'm looking at it right now. Thankfully you can't tell because I'm blacker than the night. That's fine. And then all of a sudden we're good to go. Like what the hell is that? When it comes to the look, the GoPro is so much sharper. This is actually comparable to the DJI, unless I haven't seen the exact comparison yet. But back in its heyday, 
This Sony was no joke, and it's a more natural image in my opinion. Better colors, the flat profile, easier to grade. Good to go, but DJI, what are you doing with the contrast? It's super contrasty. And just the quality, it doesn't look right. The sharpness is not there, and you can't change anything. It's like over sharpened, but too soft at the same time. And then the super dark blacks, it doesn't expose well. The slow motion looked terrible. And in low light, much, much worse than the GoPro for some reason, same tiny ass sensor. It's terrible. And the stabilization doesn't work at all in the low light. That's why this is superior in any light. <laughs> uh, that better not have jiggled. <laughs> I hope nobody saw that. That looked feminine. Oh uh, no, a group of teenagers saw it. Oh, they're girls, they're all girls. That's the worst group. It's the worst group possible to see that. Oh, why'd you do it, universe? Flat Earth Santa, why? So if you're looking for a camera to vlog with, here's my thoughts. I have the Sony and I'm thinking of upgrading. I am going to upgrade to the GoPro and I will tell you why. The Sony, mine lost focus. I don't like that they glued their sensor on and it can overheat and become out of focus and then you gotta send it in paying like more than you did for the actual camera. I just buy a GoPro instead. Sony, you effed yourself with glue, toxic glue, formaldehyde. You deserve it. The GoPro has much sharper image, more dynamic range than both the Sony and the DJI. It's just so much more pleasing to look at. It's usability friendly enough. And when the media mods come out, they might have an ace up their sleeve. That took me 14 hours to edit. Oh, that was not worth it. I like that the GoPro handles auto exposure much better. I like that I can do this and you still see me. Whereas the Sony's like, okay, now we prioritize the alien beings on the sun. Let's see what they're doing. Hopefully they're doing something better than whatever you're doing. Talking to yourself in a field on a cold day. Everything's frozen, my hands included. These are workout glove hands. Not women's gloves, angry photographer. How dare you. I'm not feminine. That, oh. What was that? It's not feminine. It's actually a really masculine move. It's like basketball, kind of. If the hoop was on the ground. Stop it. It's masculine. If you have a Sony, I would never recommend the Osmo. If you have a Sony, I would recommend the GoPro 8. And that's about it. The GoPro 8 is worthy. And we'll see what happens with that media mod, because if I can plug this lav mic right into that socket, then we have a solution like this, but I can probably control the volume levels inside where Sony doesn't allow it. A simple firmware update to lower the volume, this would have been the perfect camera still, but it ain't. Times have it changed. So we're done. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me what you thought down below. What's the best of all three? I think it is the GoPro 8. Could even be the GoPro 7 still. It's not much different. Take, take that to the bank. Better colors on the GoPro 7. 8's a little weird. I'll tell you that much. All right, I'm gonna leave. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and we'll see you in the next one. What, y'all thought I was joking about that cabinet? Those shoving units? They're coming with me. I'll take that air conditioner across the street too. The universe is good to me. Thank you, universe. It's perfect. Uh, if you don't get joy from finding furniture on the street, what, what's your life all about? Not much. The funniest part is I thought this thing was heavy by the looks of it. It's the lightest thing I've ever seen in my life. The cart is heavier. Oh, I made this so much harder than it needed to be. I could have just grabbed it. Oh, damn you, life. Why do you make me work for the things I want?